Christian quality. So it not only benefits the ones we talk to, it benefits us and actually draws us closer to the Shimona. All right, let's not go on to our next subheading. Individuals' interest in the good news may be awakened in different ways. So Christian ministers must be alert observers. Jesus is our example. Perfect, he could discern the unspoken indignation of a Pharisee, the sincere repentance of a sinful woman, and the self sacrificing attitude of a widow. Jesus could respond to the spiritual need of each one. However, a servant of God does not have to be perfect to be a good observer. The Apostle Paul illustrates that. He adapted his presentation so as to appeal to different groups and to people with varying attitudes. By our striving to be alert and observant like Jesus and Paul, we can discern how best to awaken interest in those we meet. For example, as you approach individuals, look for clues that indicate their culture, interests, or family situation. Perhaps you can notice what they are doing at the moment and make a polite comment about it as you initiate the conversation. Paragraphs 10 and 12 now, on the eighth question. How did Jesus and Paul show themselves to be alert and observant? Well, here when it mentions Jesus, it mentions that not only um, was he observant, but he could also be part. So he could know um, how the Pharisees felt about certain things, how repentant the sinful woman was, and also he could see um, the widow, her self-sacrificing. Um, I don't think he knew that, that those two little points were all she had. But we, even though we're imperfect, we can still be observant. And Paul gives us a great example by seeing what was going on around him. He was observant. He, and he would mention, I see that you're spiritually minded or you're in fear of the God so that you have one to an unknown God. So he could start conversations with people about what they believed or what they thought because he was observant and very
Showing any respect for it, we have to exit. 